Oh, I honestly don't feel great. I feel... places in the world, the Faroe Islands, and it is a overcast, foggy, misty, rainy, drizzly, amazing day in the Faroe Islands. I'm not expecting sun, <laughs> I'm expecting this kind of weather, um, and it's pretty impressive. Uh, just been driving for about half an hour or so just kind of getting acclimatized to the road I've never driven on the other side of the road before never driven left left hand road um, so you know in another country I've never been to there's a lot a lot to learn today and um, yeah so I'm on my way to the Airbnb which is like the other side of the Faroe Islands on the northeast side to where the airport is uh, so I'm heading there, I need to grab some food on the way from somewhere. Um, yes, yeah, so, a whole new learning experience. Oh, and I turn up at the airport, get in the uh, car, or turn up at the car, it's got a flat tyre. So, that was a problem that had to be sorted. But on the flip side, oh, I don't have it with me, I bought some um, 10 year old Ardberg whiskey for a litre of it for 30 quid. That is a bargain, and I will be enjoying this. That was in the duty free. Go duty free, whiskey duty free. Good. Yeah, I've got this funky little VW up that I'm surprised how well it's kitted out. It's got uh, heated seats, Bluetooth, USB, uh, even got a little phone holder here, um, you know, steering buttons and. Uh, but it is terrible at going uphill. <laughs> it has really no power. Really no power. Um, so that's a bit annoying, but hey, what am I gonna do? Anyway, Airbnb, food. That are my plans. Yes. understand the point of this oh, I suppose guess extra people it's just literally a sofa in a small room uh, yeah and uh, what we got fridge table chairs dining area with an amazing view and cool little bathroom nicely done out and then up here we have <laughs> if we don't we got the main bed, which shall be mine, because I'm the only one here, and why would I not sleep in it? Got some other little uh, beddies here, another nice view out the window, little window, and uh, yeah, nice and cosy. It's warm, we got some uh, heaters, electric heaters going on, so cannot complain, but... That's a pretty cool little uh, window with a view. Also, did some shopping, popped into a shop. It's like a small local kind of place. And pasta, some Quaker Oats. Oh, co I wasn't sure if they'd have a coffee filter, but they do, but I've got some filters, some coffee. Uh, milk. Now, I'm not sure. I think this is full fat, full fat milk because it's three and a half percent as opposed to the others were like one percent, half percent. And it's got a picture of a cow, so I'm assuming 
this is cow's milk, not sheep's milk, because I was wondering, because I know they have a, a lot of sheep here, but I don't know about cows, so do they import cow's milk, or do they have their own cows for milk, or I was just wondering if they use sheep for sheep's milk. I don't know, they might have goats. Ginger nuts, because, you know, need something to go with your coffee, and um, some, what I think is cheddar, it's some Tistrup, Tistrup Medjury by Costello. And uh, I'm going to let a little go on it if I can find some knife. I realised <laughs> driving up here, I haven't eaten at all today uh, since about 8 o'clock last night. I haven't eaten, and then I didn't go to bed. Uh, for one reason or another, logistic, logis logistical reasons. Oh, is that goats or sheep or something? It's interesting flavour. I'll tell you that. Kind of, hmm, a bit Moorish. Got an odd tang to it that I kind of like. Also, Ardberg. 10 year, 32 pound for one litre. I looked it up online for 70 centiliters, normally like 50 quid, so bargain. So I'm looking forward to try this. That is some nice whiskey. I like it smoky. I like it smoky, PT, with some body to it. But it's got all of that going on. Mm, nice. Honestly, don't feel great. I feel I went for a kip for an hour, and I feel so groggy right now. But I'm forcing myself out because I only got about half an hour left of sun. And to be honest, it's so overcast. I doubt we're going to get anything special happen at sunset. But you know, I'm here in the Faroes. I've got to make every opportunity count. So I've come up behind the Airbnb I'm saying it's just down there I can see it from here just coming up the hill and I'm heading over to uh, this waterfall behind the uh, up the hill behind the Airbnb where I'm staying that's the idea and um, halfway there but uh, yeah I'm just trying to wake up really shake this grogginess off but uh, <sighs> getting there Get in there, slowly does it. Right, onwards and upwards. Made it to the waterfall. Ah, oh, out of breath. Ah, oh, yes, made it to the waterfall. And the composition I've got in mind is I'm gonna put the 15 mil on. It gives me a 110 degree, 110 degree uh, field of vision to work with. So that means I can get this waterfall in here and it's stretching out, looking down this, uh, what should we call it? Inlet? Oh, yeah, I don't know what to call it. And then get these three, well, one, two, three, four, five peaks in. That's the plan. So, set up and uh, bring this composition to life. Uh, there's a nice little uh, tiny flat area here. 
the light is not gonna be good but we might have a nice moody blue hour vibe going on secure last thing I want is uh, my camera falling down this hill make sure we are nice and level right we're gonna go for f8 I've got a manually focus this we're cur currently exposing for a second at f8 right I think the next job now I know we're sharp and in focus got the composition let's go for a long exposure oh that could have been real bad <sighs> polarizer fell out of the holder not good well for the time being I'm not even going to use that the free stop straight oh no I need to oh what am I doing I'm just not thinking am I that needs to be it's like I've never done this before I didn't screw on the filter holder to the lens that's why it came off right okay now we're in a position to slide this on Whew. right we're now in 13 second exposure territory so let's see what happens there so I'm pretty happy with uh, this long exposure 20 seconds seems pretty good got nice kind of glassy looking water where it's kind of smoothed out this waterfall and all the clouds have got that bit of blurring I might just step it up and go for more like a couple of minute exposure really get them clouds blurred a bit more I'll try that next but I like the composition looking good let's move up to a six stop I find it quite annoying with the uh, Sony as far as I know I have to use anything over 30 second exposure I have to use the um, intervalometer to get them longer exposure times I can't just set it in camera which would be the best thing I haven't got an amazing sunset, but I have got that nice moody blue hour which we're making the most of and I don't feel groggy anymore I feel quite alive <laughs> after walking up here ah, it's a nice way to nice way to end my first day in the Faroes by just uh, getting that first the first pictures in feels like we started now gonna get an early night tonight because I am sleep deprived basically had a couple of hours of interrupted sleep today on the plane and then a, about three quarters of an hour before I came up here three quarters of an hour an hour is just like that really annoying amount of sleep time because you just feel worse for it all right a couple of seconds left ah <sighs> gotta turn the noise if you have the Sony cameras and you find when you do long exposures you have to wait the same amount of time again it's because the noise reduction processing thing in the settings is on and I forgot to turn it off so I've got to wait two and a half minutes for it to go through this it's super annoying but while it's doing that I might as well pack away I think that's gonna be it for today so end of the first day got some pictures in for well, the first composition which I quite like so I might, might revisit this when we get different light or different uh, different weather going on uh, yeah so I'm just gonna head down and uh, relax have a little uh, dram of whiskey my Ardberg 10 year that I bought for a bargain price and enjoy this beautiful view out my little window <sighs> okay ciao for now